Mr. Palman, for your moving rendition. Music often expresses more than words can ever hope to capture, and it is understood intuitively. Regardless of the language we speak, music is a language of humanity that we all share. The victims of the Holocaust included those labeled by the Nazis with derogatory terms like Sigoyna or gypsies, men, women, and children from the Roma and Sinti communities considered by the Nazis as racially impure. The Nazis commit, committed to destroying the Roma communities. I would now like to invite Mr. Dan Pavel Dogi, Chief contact point for Roma and Sinti issues from the Office of Democratic Institutions and Human Rights for the uh, Office for Security and Cooperation in Europe. He will share some remarks with us. Respected organizers of this important remembrance ceremony, Secretary General Guterres, esteemed survivors of the Holocaust, honorable speakers and audience. The Jewish people were targeted for extermination by the Nazi regime, its allies and collaborators based on racist and supremacy ideologies. They suffered the highest toll of loss of human lives in the Holocaust. Besides them, on the same racist grounds, the Roma people were also targeted for extermination. The Nazis' final solution has brought these two populations very close to their full extinction, with six million people Jews and half a million Roma and Sinti being killed. Other groups have been also persecuted and killed, such as people with disabilities, political opponents, some religious minorities, prisoners of war, and sexual minorities. Realizing that their quest for world supremacy is coming to an end, the Nazis went to great lengths to hide their heinous crimes and avoid being made accountable for what has been recognized to be one of the darkest and largest scale atrocities in the history of humankind, the Holocaust. For decades after the Second World War, the Roma Holocaust was not acknowledged by states as being an integral part of the Holocaust and was similarly ignored by historians and scholars who turned a blind eye to the fact that the Roma people were, as the Jewish people, targeted for extermination based on racial grounds. The forgotten Holocaust of the Roma has inflicted a deep trauma among the Roma and Sinti survivors, precluding them from opening up and sharing their suffering within their families and with the society. As late as in the 80s, some survivors have dared to speak up about their horrific experience under the Nazi. One of the bravest survivors and human rights activists, Mr. Romani Rose, has led decades worth of efforts paving the way for the recognition of the Roma genocide. More recently, groups of Roma activists and intellectuals have advocated until the European Parliament has recognized the 2nd of August as being the European Roma Holocaust Memorial Day. I mention here the important roles of Ms. Soraya Post, a former MEP, the Tendipe Roma Youth Network, and Dick and Abister Initiative. 2nd of August, 1944, is the day when the Nazis have liquidated the remaining close to 3,000 Roma men, women and children of the Zigeuner Lager, the gypsy camp of the Auschwitz-Birkenau. Formally, the Roma Holocaust is still not being recognized. It is time now, 75 years since the ending of the Second World War, that justice for Roma is done without further delay and that the very definition of the Holocaust is corrected to properly acknowledge the Roma and their suffering during the Second World War as being an integral part of the Holocaust. We witness nowadays how racist ideologies rooted in the same flawed and dangerous belief that some human beings are superior to others manifest unabatedly in our society. Racism has permeated the highest political and government levels, unfolding in an unchecked manner in what is proven to have become a climate of acceptance and impunity anti-Semitism, anti-Roma rhetoric, and hate-motivated crimes and incidents against these people make the headlines every day and risk becoming an unacceptable normality. This must end. Today, as we commemorate worldwide the victims of the Holocaust, I humbly urge all states, politicians, and international organizations to upscale their efforts and ensure that this essential 
history lesson is fully learned so that the terrible suffering inflicted by the Nazi racist ideology upon the humankind will never repeat. I emphasize the essential duty and responsibility of the governments and politicians to firmly condemn all forms of racism and nationalist extremism and to fight prejudice and discrimination. We must never forget the Holocaust. We must preserve and respect the memory of its victims. We must educate the younger generations about the Holocaust and about the danger that the racist ideology is posing to our society. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Dogi.